Hi everyone, my name is Norma Sevilla. I come from Honduras. I am currently studying my master in water engineering at the University of Applied Science in Magdeburg Stendal. And in this video, I will be answering all the questions you have made about the lifestyle here in Magdeburg and how it is to be an international student from my experience here in Magdeburg. So one question I always get oftenly asked is how do you get to know German people? And to be honest, this is a question that uh, is a little bit funny for me because I feel like everyone sees Germans like strange species, you know? Uh, but I would just say the Germans may be sometimes be just a little bit shy people, <laughs> but you still get to know them. Uh, in my experience, I would say when I came here to Magdeburg, I decided to live in a share flat just with Germans because I wanted to see how it was the thing here, how they behave, what to do, what not to do. Because when you come to a country that has a different culture from yours, you have to get to know how is the way of living here. Germany is a country that has a different uh, culture or way of style that it is from my country. So I wanted to learn this about it and I would say try not to see them like you cannot talk to them because they are, can be really open and nice people. How to make connections before coming to Magdeburg. Uh, in my opinion, what worked for me is like there are a lot of Facebook groups about students in Magdeburg. So you can join them and you can start asking questions. Even before you come here, they can even help you to get to know a little bit where to live, where to get some things. I would also and totally recommend you to go to the webpage of the university and uh, enroll yourself in the body program because the University of Applied Science here in Magdeburg, they have something called the body program. So this is a German student that helps you get uh, involved, uh, get you let to know the city here in Magdeburg. So for me, that was really helpful. Uh, we were chatting a bit before I came here to Magdeburg. She explained me where to buy something. When I came here, she received me in the Hauptbahnhof and she, she showed me where to buy this thing, where in the city, what to do. So, uh, and I knew her a bit before coming to here. So that would be a good tip for getting to know people before coming here to Magdeburg. Coming here to Germany has been a really, really fun experience and for sure for me, a big cultural shock. But I would never say in a negative way because you always get to know good things and from other cultures and everything. But one thing I would say about the difference about Germans and me in special is that I am more an extrovert person and Germans are more introvert in many situations. Like I always get uh, told that yeah, maybe Latin people, we can be a little bit noisy when we speak or more expressive and Germans are more calm and they like more silent areas and stuff like that. We all can learn and accept some our different cultural different things. So that would be something that I would say that was the biggest difference I noticed here between me and the Germans. Okay, now I will be telling you a little bit about the question you asked me about the cost of living in Magdeburg and what can I recommend you about affording living here. So first of all, I would say that Magdeburg is really, really, really cheap city. I think the average uh, cost of living is between 600 and 700 euros of a little bit more, but I would say that that's more than you need to live here in a really good uh, place. Uh, I, will, I will give you this an example for me. I am paying like 180 euros for rent, including everything. Uh, I would say monthly I maybe spend for food 200 euros, that's not that much. And I would totally say that my expenses are 450, 500 euros. And I would say 600 when I would um, spend eating outside in a restaurant or I don't know, chopping a little bit. So Magdeburg, totally a cheap city to live, so don't think about you will come and spend that much money in rent and all the things. You can find something really nice for a really affordable price. So a question I get also often asked and it's really a bit hard for me to answer in a very specific way is about the resident permit to come to Germany. Because uh, for every country it's different. Every country has their own regulations, their own laws, their own thing with Germany. So for every country it changed. I can tell you from my experience because for me it was different from uh, some of my friends from the master that comes from other countries was totally different, the process. So one thing I would totally recommend to you if you are planning to come to Germany, get in contact with the German embassy in your country to see what are the papers, what you have to do, what are the regulations that you need to do because sometimes these procedures can take a lot of time. So just plan it ahead and get in contact with them and um, yeah, so you can make it on time. 
about the questions about the support the university is offering and about the scholarships you made to me, I will tell you. The university has a lot of support for international students. Uh, for example, the Career Center, uh, when you finish your studies and you want to get a little bit of guidance about how to do your CV or how to write your cover letter, they will also support you in maybe finding a company that will be suitable for you. I did it with them and it was a lot of support I received from them. The university is also offering the free German language course for the students that they come here and they don't speak German. Uh, there's also the body program, that is a program that helps you to get uh, somehow introduced here to the culture. Uh, what else? International office, I would say it uh, is really, really helpful. I, I really loved it. I get a lot of support from them and guidance about what to do and uh, the places here in Magdeburg, for example, when I arrived, uh, they had a program, uh, the international office with the body program to take us to the to the office to register ourselves that we were going to be living in Magdeburg and then to uh, guide us how to do some papers work here. Every year also the university is doing a job fair where you can get in contact with many companies that they are coming here to the university so you can get to talk to people from these companies that may be of your interest and make some connections, some networking here. Uh, there's also a program for startups, so maybe if you have an idea after you finish your studies and you want to start your own startup or your own company, there's also a program for it. Apart from that, the university is really well equipped with studios and laboratories for every area and they also count with a lot of uh, sport course, basketball, volleyball, so what can also the, there are many things the university offers. Uh, the green, green campus we have where you can just lay at any time of the day if you want to study, if you want to chill with your friends. So I could say it is a really, really complete package. You know, they offer you everything for your professional career and they're also offering you for your personal life. If you want to enjoy your time here, you can enjoy it. If you want to get well prepared for your professional, you can also enjoy it. So those are the things that the university offers. There are also some scholarships you can apply for. Uh, I got a scholarship when I came here uh, that is called Mobility Scholarship from the Erasmus. So when I did my semester in Spain, I received some money for this. And I think this is something really nice because uh, as a student, we really need this type of support. And yeah, there are many things. You can also check all the options available on our webpage. Uh, but as far as these are the things that I remember and I can tell you right now. A very, very important question that many people ask me is about how to find a study job here in Magdeburg. So I would say, in my experience for me, I don't speak uh, German that much or by the time I didn't speak it that much and I still managed to find a job. So opportunities here, there are many, so you just, know to, you just need to know how to find them, how to look for them and they will come to you. Uh, from all the friends, I also know that finding a study job here is really, really, really easy. And if you know the language, it will be way more easier. You can work as a side job in a restaurant, in a store, any other things. And you can even find like a trainee in a company that is from your field. Uh, companies are really open for that and they really, really like. And they really like when students uh, take the initiative to do it. You know, like if you contact the company and you tell them, yeah, I'm really interested in working with you, like your area, they could even give you like a student side job. And the good thing here is that they really respect that you are a student, so you need your time for studying. And you also, they also know that you need the uh, job for getting a little bit of experience and for getting some income. So they really respect, you can find a balance for it. It's not hard, I'm telling you, it's not really, it's not hard to find a job. So you, you can make it. I make it, you can make it. How is the weather in Magdeburg? I would say the weather here changed very often. In general, in Germany, the weather is changing very often. For me, a person that comes from a tropical weather, that in my country we have summer the whole year, and I would say our coldest degree or our coldest weather is maybe 1918, that will be like winter for us. It's really surprising to be here and to get to see how the weather changed for every season and how beautiful the city can change. In Magdeburg, I would say the best season is spring, when you get to see all these beautiful parks uh, full of flowers, all these green areas, uh, really green and blooming with all the flowers. I think that's a really, really nice uh, thing to see here in Magdeburg. And winter with snow would also is really nice because you get to see the city uh, with snow really white and all these old buildings and night places. It's really beautiful. So I would not say the weather is bad or the weather is good. It's 
changing and it's good for everyone. You can get to experience that. Social life in Magdeburg and what can you do here? Okay, I think that depends on every person, I would say, because we are all totally different. We have like different tastes of what to do or what not to do, but I will tell you what things you can do here in Magdeburg and maybe it can fit to what you like to do. For example, Magdeburg is uh, really not that big city or not that small city, it's totally fine, so you can ride the bike wherever you want. So if you are into sports like riding a bike, you can take like small bike tours. Barbecues in parks, picnics in parks, there are many, many, many here. Also, you can do that. There are also some uh, swimming pools, sport courses. Uh, there's also theater for people that like uh, uh, dancing or acting and all these things that are done in the theater. Uh, what else? Uh, social life or social activities like bars and stuff like that. There are many and different types here. Uh, the best, I will say, it gets on summer. When summer starts, all the beach bars are open, so it's really nice. You get to dance. Sometimes they are doing uh, Latin nights. That is something I really like because I really love Latin music. And you get to do many, many things like this. Also, like going out with some friends, having a nice walk around the city, eating an ice, get to see these really touristic places like the Hunterwasser building we have here, a really beautiful, beautiful building. Uh, the dome is also a really beautiful place. You get to do a tour inside the dome, so you get to see and learn a little bit about the history. The university is doing a lot with the body program, so you get to go around the city, have a nice tour guide telling you about the history because Magdeburg was a really important city in the history of Germany. So you get to know too many things of this. You get to see things that happened uh, here reflected on the buildings and in the area. Uh, what else? Shopping centers. We have two shopping, three shopping centers here. Yeah, you get to, to find clothes, uh, restaurants, uh, as your taste, cafes. There are many. So I think that's basically everything. Not everything, but most of it that you can do here. Magdeburg is a really well-located city because it's like really in a very centric point to some really nice places. Like for example, from Berlin here by tram is like one hour and a half. Dresden, that is a really, really beautiful city. It's like two hours by train or by bus. Leipzig, another nice, nice city is also close to here. So traveling from here is really nice. I, I, had all, I have also done many, many trips to Munich, to other cities, like to the Baltic Sea, so it's really close. We're even close to Poland. You can go to Poland like by car maybe seven hours, so it's really nice. So yeah, you can travel from Magdeburg to different places. It's a really, uh, would say, centric city to travel, so that would be no problem when you would like to travel. And it's really good because I, I said it is near Berlin, so when you want to travel to another country, it will be really close to take the airport. Is Magdeburg a safe city? Yes, I would say yes. The country where I come from, security is not that uh, much. Like I would say I would not be free to walk at night alone or at certain hours out alone. But here in Magdeburg, yeah, you can do it. And I, I mentioned before, it is not such a big city, also not that small, so it's totally perfect with that. You can reach many places by walking, no matter the hour. Of course, of course, you will always, always have to take care of you when you go out and everything. But for me, as in a personal way, never, never happened. Of course, we're not exempt to any things that will happen, in any situations that could happen, but you should always take care of yourself. But in general, I would totally say, yeah, it is a safe city to live. Coming to Germany, should I know or should I not learn the language? I think you should. It is not a problem if you come here and you don't know the language because I did it, it was my case. I came here because I didn't expect it to come here. So I came here just with language, knowing anything about German, just knowing basic things, how to say I don't speak German or hi or bye. So if you're planning to come to Germany and you have the time to learn the language to do it, I would totally recommend it you because it's something really basic you need, like for your daily life, for your basic living, it will make your life easier to know it. Even for looking a job or something, I would not say it is a disadvantage because there are a lot of international companies here and most of the people here in Germany they do speak English but still knowing the language of the country where you're going to be living or you want to live or you're going to be studying is something really important. It is not that most do because you can also come here and learn it here. It's the perfect environment for learning German. You are surrounded by people that they speak to and also the university is offering a free course of German. So that would be totally an advantage when learning it. So you can, you can do it both ways. But if you have the chance to do it before coming here, I would totally recommend it. Important things about German behavior. That's also a question I really get 
asked a lot and it's something really important because you really need to know how is the people behaving in the country where you will be living. And another question I will answer and the same is about the German rules. So I will put in them both together. Here in Germany there are a lot of rules and I would say yeah, German people love rules and it is totally fine. It's totally fine. Maybe in my country I'm not used to that much, but when you came here you, got, you have to get used. Uh, two important things I would say you need to know about German people. Being always on time and respecting the rules. Those two are really, really important. So when you will be here, you will get to know a little bit how it is life here. And if you also get to know people uh, from here, from Germany, Germans, they could also teach you how is the daily life here. And it's something you will learn being here. So don't worry about those things. The important things is that I would say is that you have to learn to accept these things because you will be living here, but also you don't have to lose your sense, I would say, yourself. So it's something you have to put them together and it's totally fine. You will learn it here. So about the health system in Magdeburg, or I would say in generally in Germany, when you come as a student, you have to get yourself a health insurance. That's a must do, that's a requisite for being a student here. So you are fully covered. So when you come here, you can get either a private insurance or a public insurance that uh, comes to you or your choice, but you are covered uh, in the health system, I would say. So then whenever you go to a doctor, then when you get a private insurance, for example, you have to pay, but then your insurance have to give you back the money. And with the public uh, insurance, you don't have to pay at the moment. You just get registered, show your insurance card, and you're covered. So basically, the system works like this. You get yourself your house doctor that will be your main doctor. Then you will become this client. I would recommend you to get one when you come here to ask him because then it's a little bit hard to get a space sometimes with some doctors. And then these doctors, whenever you have a problem or something, then they will tell you to what doctor, to which specialty you should go. And then with this paper, you can go to a dermatologist, a gynecologist, or any other doctor. But that should not be a problem. There are also some doctrine you can go without the recommendation of a how doctor but that comes to you and whatever is the situation but when you come here as a student you are covered about the you're covered for the health system here in Germany okay about the Germans I have received many questions about how Germans are how they behave their hobbies their food and everything I will try to do a little summary about it uh, because uh, there is there were too many questions about it so I will start with the hobbies I would say Germans, they really like hiking. There's something that they really do, and I've learned, I have met a lot of people that they are doing it a lot, going through the forest and something like that, and I think it's something really nice. They also do camping. Germany has like some specific areas where you can do, uh, take your camping stuff, and then you can from there start your hiking tour, and that's something really nice. Bike tours across Germany, that's also something really, really, really nice, and they're doing it that often. And um, I would say that, uh, for example, about foods and all these hobbies, they come with the season. For example, uh, in Christmas or during winter season, they have this beautiful, beautiful Christmas market where they are selling food and drinks from Germany. And they also have these little stores with sometimes typical things about Germany. I think that's something really, really nice. Uh, they're also eating like specific food during these times. Uh, summer comes with a lot of barbecues during the parks and a lot of outdoor sports and stuff like that. So that changed really depending on the season. Uh, about the food, to be honest, I haven't tried that much uh, food here from Germany, uh, to, to be honest. But don't worry, you can also find a source uh, here that they will sell maybe something that is from your country. So you will also get the chance to cook things from your country here for you or to share with others. It happened to me. I found uh, the way to cook a dish from my country and I get the chance to share it with everyone here. So don't worry about the food. And yeah, maybe you will find something here that you will like. Of course, apples and potatoes, they're always here. And yeah, that would be something uh, I would recommend about when coming here, try to find uh, specific places with the food. Honestly, from my experience, I haven't tried that much food, so I cannot tell you too much about this topic. And um, in general, about what Germans do or what, or what they do, uh, Germans are really nice people. You, will get, you can get uh, to know them a little bit more and you will get to enjoy about their typical things, about the festivals, the way they drink. The, uh, they also have like this, I would say, I don't know, traditions when they're drinking and singing these songs and then you can feel a little bit of the culture from them. That is something really nice. And yeah, I think you would, I, I would really like you to experience all the things when you will come here and study here in Germany. Well, everyone, so these are all the questions we have for this video. But if you're still curious or you still want to know 
more about the lifestyle here in Magdeburg, uh, about the lifestyle here in general in Germany, or any other things from an international perspective, you can still send us your questions to our Instagram account, h 2 international and we will be happy to answer all of them. I will also invite you to go to the webpage, University in Germany, the webpage of the Hochschule Magdeburg Stendhal, so you can take a look there to everything that the university can offer, study courses, deadlines, anything you want to know will be there. It was really nice for me to share my experience with you about how it is the lifestyle here, especially in Magdeburg, and I hope we see each other soon. Bye!